All right, so plugins, file data, and then if you have your master file selected, double click, skyrim.esm, and then if you have more than one plugin file, make sure that you set the correct active file. And what this means is when you double right click, it will change a plugin to an active file, and any changes made when you save will only apply to the active file. So if you're working on more than one mod, make sure you got the correct active file set up because otherwise the changes won't apply. Um, for this we're this tutorial we're only using one plugin. So it doesn't really matter that much. Just if you're working on multiple plugins, then make sure that you've got the proper active file set up by double right clicking. Or or you could just click that button there, I suppose, yeah. Um, okay, so just load up any any C noobs. I'm gonna load up my house, player house, and I will try to teach you the basics of some of the gizmos and fine tuning your movement of objects. Once this loads, I'm gonna try and do make this a shorter tutorial so that people don't have to sit through like a 20 minute video to find out one little thing so this one's going to be dedicated to just gizmos and plugin files when you're moving an object you can just drag with the left mouse or you can if you hold the Y on the keyboard as you move it will only move it in the Y axis or if you hold Z if you want to move an object just up and down if you hold Z and drag it will just move it in the z-axis and this is good if you've already got an object in place but you just need to adjust the height or just on the y-axis or something so yeah once this loads I should be able to show you quickly alright so we've got our kettle and if you just click and drag standard movement but let's say I want it to you know be a little bit higher off the floor for some reason if I hold Z and then click it will only move it on the Z axis and the same is for the Y axis and the X axis and we do to do this is hold Z for Z, Z axis Y and X for each corresponding axis um, it just allows you to fine tune your object object without risk of moving it out of place so if I've already got it you know set up nicely where I want it I can just hold Z drop it down um, the gizmos are basically they offer the same as a mouse in terms of what you can do it's just it's a visual rep visual <laughs> visual representation so you've got the little handles for each axis that you can use um, and the little yellow bounded box and it depends on preference really and the short key for the movement one is E I believe yeah E to turn it on and when you're done E to turn it off rotation is W and it's got the three little circles that you can click and drag um, instead of using the right mouse button and then for scale you've got two you can't change you know just the height or just the width on these items they're all set to scale you know all around but on some items like triggers I believe you can scale it in you know one direction to cover a room or something so it's all down to preference really um, two is for scale w is rotation and e is movement you can also move your objects and the like if you right click on it and press edit so you've got the movement tools here but it's done with coordinates you know you can change the angle of an object all you have to do is press ok it's really down to preference um, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial I believe um, in my next tutorial I'm going to be doing I'm basically going to be filling the house out using these techniques with furniture, containers and some loot and I look forward to seeing you there thanks